Lane Larson here with Susan Roush. And Susan, what kind of a metal, what kind of deep gut feeling does it take to make you want to hop in a car and get out here and race this weekend? Uh, well, really, it takes focus and confidence. Focus and confidence. And I think anybody can have that. Um, but speaking from a woman's perspective, you know, it, it's very gratifying to go and, and race in what has for a long time been traditionally a men's sport, but in recent times is uh, open to, to women more than maybe even some other types of motorsports. Now, you and I have been friends for, what, the past four years. We met out here at the NMRA and NMCA racing, and it was just the two of us that were kind of drawn together, the two lone soldiers that were out here racing, don't you think? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so, what type of legacy, we obviously know your dad's been in racing for many years, and you've been around watching him, and you know, why are you into drag racing? Why didn't you want to get into a cup car? What, what possessed you to want to do the drag racing? That's actually a very common question. And, um, you know, the, 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 the thing that I tell people is, is that uh, um, what you know growing up becomes very dear to you. Mm -hmm. And that's what drag racing is to me. You know, I was, I was out of the house before Dad started cup racing. You know, that really was not a part of my childhood in any way. Um, the road racing, some. You know, I was in my teens, um, but that was really when my brother was younger. And he's out there road racing today. As a matter of fact, uh, they have an event this weekend, and my father split up his time between my brother's event and our event. Um, but the drag racing, you know, that's where I grew up. That that is the whole culture that I knew, you know, until I was in my mid-teens. So, you know, we know off the track, but on the track, um, I know, just because I've witnessed it, knowing you for four years, today you changed a motor in one of your cars, you went back out, and then you're running two cars today in this competition. Um, from what I hear on the announcers, you hit a triple O, which is a perfect light, and a double O three, am I correct on that? Uh, yes, that would be correct. <laughs> <laughs> so that means not only off the track are you a tough competitor, but on the track, this is something that you want to give the boys a wake-up call. Yes, you have to respect competition for what it is, too. Um, you know, a, a perfect light and a 003, that is almost red. That is almost... That, that's that's not where you want to be. Um, now, you know, depending on what round it is, such as qualifying, you might take those risks. But, you know, in competition, you think very carefully and strategically about where you want to be. It's all about being very, uh, very objective and focused and having, having that confidence in yourself and your equipment. And, uh, you know, yes, we did have some problems yesterday, but I've got a great team. We do have great equipment. And uh, when you are faced with adversity, you just never quit. You can never quit.